Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We're back at rank 8. Unfortunately, it didn't keep us at rank 10, like I thought it would. But at least we're not starting off at rank 7. So, we do know that we can make it to rank 10. It's just now the question is, can we get back to rank 10? So that way we can be just one rank away from Master Ball rank. Let's find out. Alright, let's look at this team. I really like the idea of having CU on board. Um, Garchomp looks like it could actually do quite a bit of work as well. But my main thing is maybe... Amoongus has so many things that can give it problems. I think, honestly, Team Lou has to be here. Yeah, I like Team Lou. I like Corbin. It looks like there's no Trick Rumor. Unless Veluza gets Trick Room, which I don't think it does. But I'm actually going to lead Fluttermane and Corviknight. Team Lou will be in the back because it's just so bulky. It can do so much. And I'm thinking Shiyu. I'm going with Shiyu. All right, did we make the correct selection? Let's find out. All right, Shiyu has proven itself really great. I think I think now Ruin Pokemon. I do think Shiyu is actually a little bit more useful than Shin Pao. Shin Pao is still my favorite because it's a cat, but Shiyu is a lot more useful. I've picked up. All right, we've got Double Water. All right, and Intimidate back onto it. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and Tailwind first turn as I protect with my Fluttermane. <clears throat> so that way we can kind of get a sense of what my opponent wants to do. Now, for me, it's gonna be so important to get this Tailwind up because speed looks like it's gonna be very advantageous here. Having some sort of speed control. Alright, Dragon Dance coming in. It's actually kind of scary. Um, luckily, though, we've already lowered its attack once, so its attack is just now at base attack. Um, I'm going to bulk up with Corviknight as I go ahead and throw a Moonblast into the Gyarados. Right? Is that what I do? Shadow Ball would be super effective on Veluza. Let's Shadow Ball the Veluza slot. Alright, oh, we made the right play. We made the right play because that thing's going for Protect here. Alright, <clears throat> can we one-shot this Veluza here? Yes! Alright, we made the right play. That was a great play, and we get a free bulk up on Corviknight. So if I can get rid of all the special attackers on my opponent's side, Corviknight's going to be pretty nigh unstoppable. Alright, Tyranitar, who is also a physical attacker. Let's go ahead and get another bulk up. As I go ahead and fire off a Moonblast into Yeah, this one goes into the Gyarados slot. We'll throw this one at the Gyarados slot. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Waterfall. We lose Fluttermane here, unfortunately. But Corviknight is doing so well with its bulk ups. All right, Rock Slide. Unfortunate. Fluttermane was going down anyway because of the sand. But Fluttermane has actually done quite a bit. It, it took out one Pokemon, and it really destroyed the survivability of another. So, honestly, Team Lu needs to come out here.
And I do need to go ahead and get rid of the Gyarados while I can. And then we could throw a Fissure at Tyranitar and get a Stomping Tantrum boost next turn. I think that's best play. But Gyarados is the main Pokemon I want to get rid of because it's such a big threat to Ting Lu. Alright, what type are you becoming? Alright, Tyranitar. I'm actually okay with that. Water type, okay. I Tyranitar does get Surf, I do believe. Alright, Waterfall at the Corviknight slot. No flinch, please. Yes, get rid of that, Dr that Gyarados. All right. Now, we'll see what, what we can do. Ting Lu Fissure misses, obviously. But we'll have that Stomping Tantrum boost next turn. All right. Nice. That actually went so well. Because we took that so well. All right, and we have the Stomping Tantrum boost. Shin Pao comes out. All right, let's get rid of Shin Pao real quick. Let's get a Tailwind first. And I think we'll throw it at um, Shin Pao. All right, nice. Dodges the attack. And a Tailwind for good measure. Alright. Stomping Tantrum, does that get rid of Shin Pao? Terra Blast, we're going to eat another Water-type move. Team Lu will take it. All right. All right. We'll throw a Brave Bird. Throw an Iron Head at Shin Pao. As we just click Fissure at Tyranitar. We do get good damage there. Icicle Crash. We should take that because of our insane bulk. Iron Head, finish off the Shin Pao. Now the Tyranitar is all that's left. We lose our uh, Ting Lu, but Ting Lu actually did a good job. It All it had to do was come out here and sponge some of these attacks, and it did that incredibly. So now our Shi Yu comes out here, and we already know that Shi Yu can actually do quite a bit of damage. All I have to do is change my Terra type. So I can take at least one hit and throw a Terra Blast back at it. And the idea is hopefully I can live one Terra Blast if I don't one shot this thing. Alright, let's see. Let's see if this pays off our ghostly fish. The ghostly goldfish comes out, and it's going to Terra Blast first because it's so fast. We've got a Tailwind on our side. Boom, yes. Brave Bird should honestly do the trick. Nice. This team combination just works so well. And I really do like Corviknight. Corviknight punishes Intimidate users like the Gyarados. We came in, and we did a lot of work right there. So I'm thinking that probably should have brought us up to rank 9. Right off the bat, correct? I believe it did. All right.
right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to end this episode here. But I do want us to see if we made it to rank 9. Not quite. Maybe in the next episode we would make it to rank 9. If you guys like this, thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully soon we'll make it to Master Ball rank. I will see you in the next video.